still is a new way of looking at something that's always been there. It's your body. It's how you move it. It's how you relate to it, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. And how it relates to you in response to that. They're not separate. And that's what yoga is. It's a literal union of the mind, body, and the spirit. But I think a lot of times in our modern culture, we see it as this workout routine and not as the creative, intimate thing that it is that can help us remember who we actually are. I came to yoga in desperate need of help with my mental health and then it's grown into this thing where I have found out what it's like to be strong in my physical body as well as my mental space. There's a lot of people who have experienced trauma in our country, a lot that have experienced uh, abandonment and psychological and physical abuse, sexual assault, these things, no matter how strong you think you are or how much you think you can push them aside and ignore them, they come back. They live in the very tissue of your body, in the neural pathways of your brain. Yoga is just one of the ways that we can rewire our body to work for us and not against us it doesn't know that that trauma is over so oftentimes you'll see it's so hard for someone that's been through very intense traumas to work through what seemingly is a very innocuous relationship or interaction but it takes a while to break down that scar tissue and build it up new. And that's a part of what still is trying to help with. It's not going to solve all the problems, but it's going to give people a place to turn when they need to work through some of these horrible things that they've experienced. There is healing to be found. I didn't think I'd find it to the degree that I have, but it takes work. But through these videos, every day being able to click on a video just to give you 15, 20 minutes of present control, of being able to say, here's where my hand is, here's where my other hand is. I have the power to push up into a downward facing dog. Or I have the power to lift my foot up off the ground. It doesn't have to be big movements. Just those small movements make a difference to empower someone who has been traumatized. And as an artist, you sit at a computer or a desk or a drawing board and you kind of forget about your body because you live in this almost ethereal world and still is reaching out to the people that are most creative and most likely to spend all this time bringing us the stories that we need to hear but it's a way for them to not forget, forget about themselves. And as artists, a lot of times we pull from our pain and from our art. And so this is my way of giving back to them, to us. And it's not just for artists, it's for everybody. But specifically, I just know that for myself, for a long time, I thought that I couldn't be creative without this like torment or this pain. But really, 
me. It's still there. Like, I still have my melancholy artist way. But through this, I'm able to get up, physically move my body, and feel healthier so that I can sit down and make my art, work on my writing. The name still comes actually from Maya Angelou's poem, Still I Rise. And not because I'm not copying it necessarily, it, it's just the essence of it. Because obviously I've never been a slave and I could never begin to understand what it is to rise from that. But as a woman and as a writer, there is a pride that rises in my heart when I hear her words. Because as in each stanza, she speaks the truth of who she is, outside of the preconceived notions of others, outside of the sociological placement of her people by other people, and all the lies of those who sought to keep her silent or to define her as something other than who she truly is. That happens to all of us. We get redefined or mocked for trying to show strength or creativity or so that's not what you are or this isn't you. But in her poem when she talks about what she is and who she is and the pride with which she walks that truth that she does not lie down, she doesn't become molded by someone else's estimation of her worth. In this, I feel myself echo and still I rise. As an artist, there's nothing like having that moment that you write something so powerfully true about yourself that it becomes immortal and that you become accountable to it because it's so honest. It becomes your anthem, your war cry. That's what still is about. Helping you find it, because you have one. You have a mantra waiting to be born that's gonna help you get out from under whatever it is that seeks to define you, whether it's you or someone else's opinion of you or the world's opinion of you. So how do you rise up out of it? Is it through poetry? Is it through dance? Is it through being kind to people that others don't expect you to be kind to because they've done you wrong or because what's in it for you. I hope through still I can help people find that strength and I will use the tools of yoga because they're where we are most physically present in the moment where you can recenter and work out of out of you and your strength because that's what I want to see I want to see people rising up not because they feel weak but because they feel strong that's how we do it because otherwise if you are trying to prove something to yourself then that's something different. But if you're living out of your truth, that's where people want to follow. That's where people want to follow. And, and that's why Still I Rise by Maya Angelou is incredible. And so I just couldn't get it out of my head. So the name still just kept coming back because yoga also emphasizes stillness. And stillness is It's not weak to be still. There is actually great strength in that. So I was like looking up what, if I could use the word just still, and then I was like, what if I put a Y in it? Cause that might be fun. So I replaced the I with a Y, and then I looked up if there was a, a definition for that word. And there is, it's kind of like a slang word. The definition that pops up if you look it up, is still means I agree, or it's true. It like goes at the end of a sentence. It says, like if you were to say something like, I am strong, I'd say in response, still. 
it's an affirmation. So that's it. That's what I want to do is come alongside you and affirm you in your truth. Still. <laughs> that's it. <laughs>